What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. Also, hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Be careful down in the comment section of the videos. A lot of spam, a lot of scammers. I will never ask you to contact me by WhatsApp or Telegram. I also do not invest money for my subscribers. So please be careful. Don't get yourself scammed. If you want up to 12 free stocks, Weeble is going to give you up to 12 free stocks. When you open up a new Weeble brokerage account, put at least $100 in that account. They're going to give you up to 12 free stocks. There's a link down in the description box of the video. Click on that Weeble link. Open up your new brokerage account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. Guys, we are in some volatile times right now for investors. But today, I'm going to give you six investing habits that if you adapt and you use, I believe as an investor, it will give you the opportunity to build wealth so that you can control 100% of your time and your financial destiny. Number one. Don't delay investing. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're 20 years old and you start investing $1,000 per month in an S&P 500 ETF with an 8% annualized rate of return. And you do that until you're 40 years old. You will have accumulated off of that $1,000 investment over the next 20 years, a portfolio of around $550,000. Let's take that same $1,000 and let's say you delayed investing 10 years. Instead of starting at 20, you started at 30. And you invested for 10 years until you got to the age of 40. Same $1,000 same 8% annualized rate of return in an S&P 500 ETF, you would have $175,000 in your portfolio account when you get to 40. So delaying investing by 10 years costs you a boatload of money, man. That's the reason why don't delay Invest today. The earlier you start, the bigger your portfolio will be. The second investing habit is buy and hold. I'm a big believer in buying quality blue chip investments and holding those investments and letting them mature. And what I mean by mature is I want those investments to grow in value. For instance, if I buy a piece of real estate, for income, a single family home in a desirable location, and I pay $250,000 for that property. My goal is to allow that $250,000 investment to grow or mature. And I do that by putting a tenant in that property, collecting my cash flow, which is my rental income, and then watching that property just grow in value because I bought it in a great location where people have a desire to live. And when you do that, properties typically go up in value. We can't create more land, guys. The land we have on our planet is all we get. So if you buy in great locations and you hold that property, it will increase in value. Same thing with the stock market. Let's say I buy an S&P 500 ETF today. And my goal is over the next 10 years to hold it so that it can mature and grow in value. History tells me the S&P 500 over the last 90 years has returned between an 8 and 10% rate of return on investment. So that's why I say, hey, buy it today, hold it for that 10 years. And if history is correct, my investment will grow by 8 to 10% over that next 10 years. And that's buy and hold, guys. Now, there are other strategies out there, but that's my favorite strategy to grow my wealth. The third investing habit is 
understand the investment. You don't have to be an expert, guys, but you do have to have some basic knowledge of what you're putting your money into. A lot of people get in trouble with investing because they don't have the basic knowledge. They want to lean on someone else to take the responsibility to understand the investment, and then they just want to do whatever that person tells them. And that's not the way you should be investing, guys. You should pick investments that you do have some level of understanding. S&P 500 ETF is one of my favorite investments. I don't know everything about the S&P 500 index, guys. But what I do know is the history of it. I do know over the last 90 years, on average, it's been a solid way to multiply your money. Also, I understand the S&P 500 has the top 500 companies in America in it. All blue chip, all big boy companies. So for me, that's the base level of knowledge I need in order to be comfortable putting my money in the S&P. You got to do the same thing no matter what investment you put your money in to. Have a basic understanding of what that investment is before you invest in it. The fourth investing habit I want you guys to consider is don't invest short-term money. Here's an example. Let's say I got five grand and I'm going to be using that five grand in less than a year to put a down payment on a new car, right? But that new car I'm going to keep for the next 10 years. So I'm just not out here throwing my money away. I'm going to put this five grand down on this new car, but I'm going to drive that thing till the, till the tires fall off of it. But also, I got this hot lead that, hey, this investment over here is doing extremely well. Put your 5K in there. Within 30 days, you're going to turn it into 10K. So I'm tempted, right? I'm tempted to take my 5K, even though I know I got a short-term use for it, which is going to be buying me a new car, so that I can get to work, do the things I need to do to make money. If this short-term investment over here that you're going to put that five grand in doesn't turn out to be a good investment, now you're stuck like Chuck. Your five grand gone. You got no money to put down on your new car so that you can go work and make money and multiply money. Guys, don't do it. Any money you invest, especially in paper assets, the stock market, real estate, Make sure it's not short-term money that you need for another primary purpose. Any money you invest, you should be thinking, I'm putting this money in this good investment, but I need to leave it there for more than five years, 10 years, 15 years. If you keep that thought process, you'll keep yourself out of the weeds on your short-term money that you need for other things to multiply money in your life. The fifth investing habit I want you to consider is be consistent with investing. And here's what I mean. A lot of us will take a hundred bucks, we'll put it in to an investment, and then we may not do nothing else for six months. Guys, that's not the way you build wealth. The way you build wealth is you got to be consistent and disciplined and patient. You got to take a hundred dollars every single month over the next five years and, and be consistent and disciplined, putting that money into the same investment through dollar cost averaging. And that's how you compound your investment in the stock market. Another thing that can help you be more consistent with investing is automate your investment, right? You can go set it up on a Weeble app and have $100 come out of your, your, your brokerage account to buy investments through Webull and they can automate it for you. You can set it up once and on the Webull app, you can just automatically have it happen every month where it'll buy S&P 500 ETF every single month with that hundred bucks. And that will help you be more consistent. But doing it every now and then and thinking you're gonna get these magnificent returns and it's gonna get you to financial freedom, you're fooling yourself. You gotta be more consistent with investing. Number six, investing habit I want you to consider is trust yourself. A lot of us don't invest because we don't trust ourselves. We don't believe we have all the necessary things we need to have in order to invest. And that's just fear, right? Fear is 
basically not trusting yourself. All I can tell you there, guys, is develop trust in yourself. Again, you don't have to be the expert. You just have to have some basic understanding of a blue chip investment. That's the key, blue chip. See, I shouldn't be investing in anything that's not proven, that doesn't have a historical track record. I shouldn't be investing in things that are not historically performance driven and proven. That's number one. And then number two, I don't have to be the expert. It's okay if I'm not the expert. Number three, I just need to have some basic working knowledge of that investment. You do those three things and trust yourself. Get out there, start building your wealth. Don't rely on somebody else to build your wealth for you guys. It won't happen. You'll be broke. Trust yourself and get out there and start investing. Well, guys, there are the six investing habits that I hope you guys will consider and adapt. I think if you do, you put yourself in a position to win financially big time. Get yourself the financial freedom so that you can control 100% of your time and you can control your own financial destiny. If you want those 12 free stocks from Weeble, click on that link down in the description box. Open up that Weeble account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, smash the like button. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. And I'm going to catch you on the next video. Peace. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.